So in this video, I thought I'd show you head tracking. Now, usually when you see head tracking, it's those gimmicky things where there's a person standing there and as you turn your head, the drone goes with it, do it that way. I'm not doing that for you guys, because to me that's pointless. And obviously the camera will go, it does all that. But I think the best thing about this is, is that when you're traveling along and you want to look down, you can't do that. You can't move the gimbal while the drone's in motion. But when you put head tracking on, you can. You can look around, you can look down, and the camera will do that. It does take a bit of time to get used to because it, it's, it does feel a little bit weird. But in today, we've got the, the mine building. We're gonna go inside the mine building. I'm gonna turn around. Obviously, I'll show you first how to apply tracking, head tracking. You got to do it while the drone's in the air. That's a pretty simple process. So, shall I get on with it? <laughs> so, I've turned on everything. Don't forget about this, guys. Making sure you've got it your strap on. So, we're just putting on the goggles now. Everything's ready. Now you might, um, right, because I know, right, anyway, shut up. Let's get it going. Right, so we've got that on. Obviously, when you're moving this, guys, you're gonna, the, the drone's gonna go up like that. Um, and I'm just gonna bring down that. Right, put on the head track in. So head tracking's on now. So we just want to get rid of that ammo. Okay, so see that circle? That's where the drone is. So if I look that way, the drone's still in the center even though you're looking that way. So it's a little bit weird because obviously you can see the circle is off to the left there. So anyway, we're gonna... All right. Okay, we just, it's a bit, that's what I said, it's a little bit weird getting used to. I mean, I'm just going to bring that down. You know, see, what I'm trying to do is get that circle near, near enough the cross. Okay, so I'm going, what I'm trying to do is go into that room there. Right. So I'm inside this room. Right, so if I look that way, that's the other camera over there. And if I look there, there, I can look upwards, look at the ceiling. This is what I love about this. It's just so many, you know, looking down. Now over there is some porno. <laughs> what that's doing in the corner, God knows. And no, you're not gonna have a look at it. So anyway, as you can see, you've got to sort of get your head around where that cross is. Now, that's a, so another good idea, guys, if you can put on the grid line to get that cross. So what we want to do now, I, I want to go, I want to go through this way if I can. All right, so this is what, see what I mean about, you just got to get yourself at the line there. It is a bit weird, I must say. Right, I'm gonna see if I can fly out the door. But it's that circle you've got to remember is, is your drone and not so much. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm going out sideways. Obviously when you're outside, it's always um, a good idea to get yourself lined up. I mean. A lot of my friends use this when they're flying. Now, at the moment, you can see the circle's going off that way. So I'm trying to get the cross and the, yeah, so that, that's about it. So I'm, I'm going forward. I'm, what I'm gonna do as I'm coming over me, I'm gonna see if I can look down, but still going forward. I'm looking down, still going forward. And if I look up, you can see how far I'm off. And the drone's sort of going sideways. So if I straighten up my head, 
Right, I'm just going to come down a bit. So it, it, it's not easy at first. You will get used to it as you, the more you fly, the more you get used to this matching up the circle and the cross on the screen. And if you notice at the top there, you've got like a little grid line. This will show your amp. So we're virtually, yeah, we're smack on now. So if I look down there, we're going down. Right, I'm going to come down a bit. We're following the birds. We're coming around. We're going to come back. So we're sort of just straightening my head up a bit. You can see by using that line at the top as well as a, as a bearing as well. So, but I need to come down a bit. I'm just coming up a bit too high. Okay, so I've just, so I can see that I'm 26 foot off the ground. I'm just going to come in a little bit more. Right, I'm going to see if I can go into the other room. Okay. Right, so we're in the other room now. Okay, I'm going to stop the drone there, Mo. If I look up, I've got the beams. If I look down, I've got all the weeds. You can see how close we are to the ground where the weeds are. I can manoeuvre myself in that other room if I wanted to, which I'm about to do now. So we just go in there. And obviously all the time you're doing it, you're just slightly touching the trigger. I call it a trigger anyway. Right. Okay. And then, I mean, I wouldn't want to do this racing about. Okay. So anyway, hopefully that's given you some idea. I'm going to bring the drone back in. Uh, we'll have a quick chat. So, head tracking. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm not going to do that. But you could see what fun you could have using head tracking in a building mainly. And obviously going out, you, if he was, um, say for instance, following a car, but it, it does take a little bit getting used to, I must say. I, I find it, I do find it difficult because you've got to match up the circle with the cross. And if you don't do that, um, you can see that you can go off, you know, on the wrong direction. But give it a try. See what you say. It'd be great to hear from you anyway. But as always, guys, this could be another video game race sooner.